Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the hat. Today is a turning point in the channel. It's been a long time coming. Uh, what we're going to be doing is continuing on with this Mercury 7.5 horse from the late 80s. Or, I'm sorry, the early 80s. I say it's a long time coming because I shot the first half of this video over a month ago. I've been overwhelmed with lawnmowers and all the normal stuff that you see on this channel. And I have not had time to work on this outboard, nor the other two that are sitting over there. Uh, I'm sorry, it is 7.45 in the morning. I have gotten two hours of sleep. I had to get up to meet a customer this morning who needed a belt uh, put back on his riding mower. It popped off because he was missing his uh, blade guard, his, his belt guards. And uh, he got me up at 6.30 this morning to walk out to his trailer and literally slide his belt back over his pulleys and explain to him that he needed to get new uh, belt guard. He said, oh, I have that on my front porch. I took it off. Well, there's your problem. Sorry, I've been watching Mythbusters for the last hour. Love that show. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to put this carburetor together. So that's what this video is for, is uh, cleaning up this carburetor. And uh, this is going to be a separate video from the actual fixing of that. So we've gotten it so far that we've shown you how to remove the carburetor. And then in that video, you're going to see me reinstall the carburetor, uh, change the oil in the lower unit, do everything else that it needs to to fire this thing up. And get it tested now I wanted to talk to you real quick it took me a while to trade to chase down the carburetor rebuild kit for this motor and uh, I'm not going to give you this part number because when I finally got this in the mail which took I don't know 10 days or something uh, I pulled it apart pulled it open checked it out and it was missing the most important gasket so be very careful when you're checking out your carb kits this claimed to be a complete carb kit and it had everything in it save this rubber gasket this was not included in this kit this is the diaphragm that works your fuel pump and without it, if this thing is hard as a rock, just like in lawnmowers, it's not going to work. So I had to track down another carb kit and order this one. And this one came from the Sierra. And uh, if you're working on a late 70s, early 80s Merc, 7.5, uh, it says replaces Mercury Mariner part number 1395-9024. And it's a carburetor repair kit, and it's 18-7215. Um, so I'll hold that up. You can pause the video and write that down. So do not make that mistake. Make sure when you check your carburetor kits, it comes with everything. That was sealed. I did go back to the website, go through the part list, and sure enough, this gasket was missing. So uh, don't make that mistake. I wasted 25 bucks and uh, can't return it. I'll use the gaskets for other things, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, this is going to be done in real time. So the only reason you should be here is if you want to learn how to rebuild a carburetor on this old Merc. I have fired this thing up using a uh, carb cleaner so I know it's got good compression and good spark 
going to start by taking this off. This is the intake line for your fuel. Comes in through here, goes in through here. You have your round cork gasket. You have your wire mesh. This is the screen, sort of the fuel filter. Make sure that's clean. Um, I don't remember if a new one came in the kit or not. I don't see it. Do 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 do. But it's metal. It's a it's a metal screen, so you should be able to clean it and reuse it. Put it in some solvent. Uh, it's metal. You could probably even heat it up. I wouldn't use a torch, but you could heat it up with a lighter and use a light wire brush to get anything out of it that's necessary. Um, I've already had this carburetor apart when I got the first kit and realized that the fuel diaphragm was not included and I went ahead and put it all back together so that I could do this on film for you guys. So everything on this should be pretty straightforward, except the fact that it's eight o'clock in the morning and I have gotten no sleep. By the way, uh, memberships on my channel are open. If you become a member, I will have a Chiron going across the bottom of the screen with your name on it as a supporter of the channel. There will be members only videos that come out. So you'll see them on my channel in my playlist, but only members will be able to watch them. That's a perk of becoming a member. Now I've already cleaned the inside of this. So when you take this apart, you have this is the important bit right here. On the top side, you have this cardboard gasket and then you have the diaphragm underneath and this thing is hard as a rock and that is what this is now these only go on one way you see all your holes and they will match up with the diaphragm make sure that you match them correctly because the holes on one side are different than the holes on the other now when I pulled that apart, cardboard goes on top, the rubber goes on bottom. So I'm going to make sure that I put this on and that it doesn't float off or fold off. Then I'm going to go in my little carburetor kit here. I need to make sure that you guys are still in frame. I have a terrible terrible filming process I know see if I can get you a little closer that'll work if you guys are interested in the hats let me know it's gonna take a while to get them they're embroidered not printed um, I am in the, ma in the midst of attempting to find the time to build the website for the channel uh, so bear with me on that stuff Oops, don't put that on incorrectly Make sure that everything matches up There we go that matches up Gasket on top. I'm sorry. Yeah cardboard gasket on top diaphragm underneath and Take this off okay the reason I did it that way to show you so that I when I take it off I put it back on the same way now under here we have a light colored gasket and this has flaps on it you see these three flaps and then we have a cardboard gasket
Okay. So the, the cardboard gasket <clears throat> goes on first. Now this kit came with two. This is the OEM kit. And this came with two of these uh, gaskets. They look identical, but I can tell you right now that this is much thinner in here and these flaps are not as wide as this one I can see it next to it if you can get that on your camera this one is wider and this is the one that was on it so that's the one that I'm going to use along with the correct gasket I just pulled that off so I should be able to put it back on hard part is making off making sure all that's lined up correctly just want to make sure that we are as my brother would say in there like swimwear you may have to take this off and put it back on a few times to make sure that everything lines up what I should do is take them all off at the same time then fit my screws through make sure that everything lines up correctly and this way I know that all four of my gaskets are in the correct spot and they're being held they're flat there's nothing crimpled up in there there's nothing in the way there's nothing that should be in a different spot. And then as you put it down, make sure that everything stays flat where it's supposed to be. Let me put this stuff back and get it out from under my arm or it's gonna hit the ground because it's 99,000 degrees out here already and the sun has barely made it past the tree line. I, what am I doing, dude? What am I doing? Look at this, you're not even reminding me what's going on. I am doing this in my sleep. Can you figure out what I might have done wrong at this point? Maybe, can you, can you scream through the camera next time and let me know I'm being a dumbass? Did you figure it out yet? <sighs> Don't do this when you're asleep, boys and girls. It's not the smartest thing in the world. Let's try this again. Stay there. And of course, it, you know, don't do this shit while you're asleep. You couldn't remind me that I was supposed to put the cap back on, could you? I can hear the comments now. I get them from time to time. People say, I like watching your videos because when you screw up the first time, then I feel better about what I do. Well, that's what I'm here for. I mess up and it has to take twice as long, three times as long to get something done because I gotta take something back apart again and do it again. So I am glad to mess up for you guys so that you don't have to. Alright, now we can screw these screws in. Next time scream through the uh, camera, the phone, the TV, whatever device you happen to be watching me on and stop me before I waste too much time. Just saves me a few 
turns of the screwdriver if I do it the right way the first time. Thank you for every thumbs up on the video. The thumbs up is more important than the subscriber. I appreciate the fact that I'm about to break 5,000 subscribers uh, in the next few days. It's been amazing to watch how many new people have joined the channel. But thumbs up is more important. And I know it's a pain in the butt when you give a thumbs up and then I show up in your feed all the time. But a thumbs up shows the YouTube algorithm that people actually enjoy my videos. And then YouTube is more likely to show them to people that have never seen them. So if you get any value out of this video, uh, if you like screaming at me through the TV, think I'm a dumbass, whatever the case may be, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, it's the same thing, and then at least I won't show up in your feed all the time. YouTube doesn't care whether it's thumbs up or thumbs down. But if you hit one of those thumbs, that shows interaction with the video. And YouTube is more likely to show me to new people. And that's how I grow. So that is the most important thing. Plus, don't skip the commercials. I'm a YouTuber and I still skip commercials, so I have no right to say that. I know how important commercials are, but right now the only income I have coming from the channel is from commercials and if you skip them I don't make that half a penny so if you really want to support a channel and you don't want to give them money or you don't have money to give just make sure you watch the whole commercial that's all all right so the fuel pump side of this has been now done replaced all the gaskets and the diaphragm are back in place my fuel screen my fuel washer and this when I originally took this off this section of the fuel intake had come out I thought I was gonna have to glue it back in place but apparently it just clips in place so we'll have to see if that is going to uh, leak or not now there's these are the old gaskets here except for this one so I'm going to drop everything on the table, of course. Wouldn't be me if I didn't. And even though I have already had this side off, and I know it's clean, you guys need to see that it's no harder than a lawnmower. Now the funny thing about these, this particular one, is rebuilding the fuel pump side of this is almost identical to rebuilding a two cycle weed eater <clears throat> as you see there's just gaskets and diaphragms in there so you don't have to be afraid of pulling this apart just be careful when you do that you see if if the diaphragm is under the cardboard gasket or over it and when you take it apart put it back together make sure you put it back the same way and then this side of the carburetor is exactly the same as a push mower. You have a jet in there, you have a jet here, you have your needle down in here, your float. Uh, that's it. So pulling this thing apart and cleaning it out is easy. Let's see if I can get this inner jet out again, even though I don't need to clean it because I've already cleaned it once. But you know from my other chat, from my other videos, that sometimes. I have to clean a carburetor several times. Now this jet right here is very simple. You have four jet holes. Just run those through with your tip cleaner. Go through the center and then you should be able to look through it and see that it's all clean. Clean this out. You can pull the needle out. You can pull out the needle here. This is your low. Make sure that everything is cleaned out. Put it back together. The other thing that comes with this gasket uh, rebuild kit is this gasket right here. This goes into the body of the carb right here. 
that is your bowl gasket. Now I've already put in the one from the first rebuild kit. But basically I will just mark this. That's the gasket for the fuel filter. That is the outer body gasket that goes against the manifold. And of course it came with a new gasket for the bowl. So clean all that out. Clean that out like a normal carburetor. Put that back in place. Oh, I've already put this little bowl gasket on from the first carburetor set. I hear people all the time say, well, my gasket looks okay, so I'm just going to leave it. Dude, these things are cheap. You can buy bags of a hundred of them. Uh, they come with every kit. Please replace those. The last thing you want to do is be leaking fuel because you replaced everything on the carburetor but you didn't think about replacing that little gasket right there around your bolt. And then you got to take this whole thing back apart over that stupid little gasket. That is something you don't want to have to do. And that's it. That is the whole thing. That is the important thing. The only thing you did not see when I pulled that center jet out was me taking my, my piece of wire and going through and clearing all the holes and spraying it out with carb spray. That's all. It's the same as rebuilding a carburetor on a lawnmower, a zero turn. Now you do have your idle set screw here. You have a jet screw here and you have a jet here so make sure that when you put these back in I'm sorry this is I'll show you in the other video uh, what goes on here you have so you have your uh, your set screw here you have your jet screw there and other than that there this is your butterfly here so as long as that opens and closes that's what this is right here uh, you're good to go spray out all the little holes that you can find in there Make sure that you are cleaned out. I already am. There's one right there Other than that, that's all you have to do to these carburetors So if you want to see me reinstall it on this mercury right here All you have to do is watch that video Which I think comes out uh, before this one because I'm going to finish that video right now and it's Tuesday or Wednesday and normally I have videos scheduled three or four weeks in advance but I'm pushing those off and putting up this video this Saturday um, like August 4th or something because I am switching the channel over to boat motors and jet skis and stuff like that not exclusively I will still be doing lawnmowers, zero turns, pressure washers, uh, but I live in Florida and boats and boat motors and jet skis are something I could do 12 months out of the year here. So if you've waited this long through the video, I hope this video helped you with your carburetor. I hope it helped you realize you can do this because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Hit the like button, it's right there. Hit the subscribe button, it's somewhere between my chin and my balls and we'll see you on the next one.